ridiculed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. So 2023 has passed by and now we are in 2024. So I decided to, you know what? Let me do a couple list of my top five, top 10, whatever, top seven of uh, whatever uh, games, movies and stuff like that. So I decided, you know what? Let me make one of video games. My top, my top seven video games of 2023. Now, before you all get mad, there's gonna be some games that I've been left out because either I just don't care to play them or I just haven't had time to play them. Some of these games are gonna be games of the year or games that everybody plays or whatever. This is just my list of top games of 2023 that I've enjoyed so far. So it's my top seven, so let's get into it. Number seven, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Now, when it comes to Assassin's Creed, it's a very simple concept. You're an assassin, you're killing, you're getting information, blah, 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 blah. There's been, I don't know how many freaking video games of Assassin's Creed. So when I say Assassin's Creed Mirage has been one of my best games of 2023, I mean that. Um, I really enjoyed the story. Um, I. I enjoy going back to the kind of, of a classic style of Assassin's Creed. Um, is it the greatest Assassin's Creed game ever? No, but it's one of those games that I really enjoyed a lot in 2023. Number six, Dead Island 2. For some reason, this game, I remember when it got announced years ago, and I just thought, you know what, this game, the, this game doesn't work for me. Well, when it finally released, I saw my brother play it, and then I played it, and you know what? I actually liked it. Um, I haven't been able to pass it yet because I got stuck in one part, and then other games came out, and you know how it is. Sometimes when other games come out, you drop one, and you play something else, and then for some reason, once you try to go back, you can't. Uh, I've tried to go back, and I just... I, I need to watch something zombie-like to get hooked back again. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Dead Island 2 is a phenomenal game, and I really, really been having a lot of fun with it. Number, uh, what is that, 7, 6? Number 5, Hogwarts Legacy. Now, when it comes to Hogwarts Legacy, we know the the whole trying to be canceled and shit like that. You know how it is. Hogwarts Legacy isn't the greatest game ever, but it was a nice little touch into bringing you into the Harry Potter world. Um, I thought everything they did was great, but it, it lacked some stuff that would have brought more of the whole Harry Potter world. But overall, the game was fun. Um, I had I was doing a lot of side quests. Uh, I was trying to get all the trophies, and for me, that's when you know a game is good when, when you're trying to get every trophy, when you're trying to explore the world, and uh, yeah, Hogwarts Legacy was one of those games that I I I don't know how many hours I put in it, but I really had a lot of fun with it, and uh, I'm hoping that once we get the sequel, there's more stuff out there. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Number four, Dead Space. This is, this is a remake, but this is actually my first time ever playing Dead Space. I know, I know. When the original Dead Space came out, for some reason, maybe I just never thought of it, or maybe I just never, I wasn't interested in playing that type of game at that moment. But I've finally been able to play Dead Space, and you know what? It's a fucking phenomenal game. Um, 
I still prefer, and I know this is going to sound weird, I still prefer, uh, I believe it's the Callisto Protocol a little bit more, but it's pretty much the same shit. Um, this space is a phenomenal game, phenomenal atmosphere, phenomenal storyline, and uh, I'm very excited to see then make Dead Space 2, and I believe they said something about potentially doing a Dead Space 3, and then potentially doing more games after that, so we'll see what happens, but yeah, Dead Space Remake, phenomenal game, if you've never played Dead Space, you don't have to play the original, you can just jump back, jump back in and play Dead Space Remake, it's a phenomenal game, here's another one that I think people are going to be very surprised my number three of best 2023 games resident evil 4 i never played the original res resident evil 4 just like i've never played the original resident evil 1 2 all these games the first time i ever played a resident evil game was resident evil biohazard and I fell in love with the franchise. Then I played the, the sequel after that. Then I saw that they had uh, Resident, I believe it was Resident Evil 2. And then they made Resident Evil 3. And then when I, I was already hooked by then, then I, I kept hearing people say, dude, Resident Evil 4 is the greatest Resident Evil game. So I was like, you know what? If it ever comes out, I'm getting it day one. Thank God I did because this game is phenomenal from the storyline from the extra stuff they added resident evil 4 is one of those great great remakes and i know a lot of people don't like when the when they added them to the whole game of the year but i feel they deserve that because that game was phenomenal so here it is my last two top games of the year this is going to surprise some people but my number two i had the list a little bit different these two games have been flopping over and over and over like one is one for a moment then the other one's one for a moment my number two best game of 2023 is spider-man 2 that is right. Spider-Man 2 is a phenomenal game, phenomenal action, phenomenal story. It has some stuff that I uh, would really prefer uh, companies leave out of it, like politics and ideology, but that's for a different topic. Spider-Man 2 had everything going for it, but I just felt like there was another game that was a was just better of it, but Spider-Man 2 did a phenomenal job. It did what it needed to do. And supposedly we're going to get some DLC stuff down the line. And yeah, I mean, Spider-Man 2 did everything it needed to do. And uh, yeah, I mean, you had Venom, you have Kraven, you had Miles, you had Spider-Man. Um, I would have wished they would have removed the whole MJ missions. But at the end of the day, Spider-Man 2 was a phenomenal game and it deserved well, it didn't win any awards. It won some awards, but it was, I think, PlayStation Awards. And those don't count, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, Spider-Man 2 was a phenomenal game. And it's one of those games that I recommend you definitely give it a try. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, my number one is Final Fantasy. I believe it's 16, if I'm correct. Final Fantasy 16... This is going to be weird because uh, I see a lot of people say they didn't, they didn't like the style of gameplay. I don't know about you, but I enjoyed that freaking gameplay. I enjoyed the storyline. I enjoyed the world that they gave us. Everything about Final Fantasy worked for me. The one thing that I didn't like was like when the character would run. I hated some of that stuff, but... At the end of the day, I had a lot of fun. That game was just phenomenal. And whoever created those fight scenes, those those action bosses, 
it, everything about that game was phenomenal. The voice acting, the character models, um, the world building. I, I really enjoyed Final Fantasy. And I am not someone that is a Final Fantasy fanatic. Um, I actually have never played any Final Fantasy games. And I'm actually playing Final Fantasy 16. Um, I've become some type of a fan of the the whole franchise that I'm now looking forward to I believe it's Final Fantasy Reaper and I've never played that game I've never played that one now playing Final Fantasy 16 passing it and really liking the story I haven't played the DLC but maybe down the line I will but you know a game is good when you've never played it and you play it and now you're hooked that you want to go find other games like that. And yeah, I mean, Final Fantasy Reaper, I'm definitely going to be buying that because of Final Fantasy 16. So that is my list. So let's go back ahead and uh, let me give you my list one more time. So number seven is Assassin's Creed Mirage. Number six is Dead Island 2. Number five is Hogwarts Legacy. Number four is Dead Space. Number three is Resident Evil 4. Number two is Spider-Man 2. And my number one game of 2023, Final Fantasy 16. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys agree with my list? I know there's a lot of games out there that I left off. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be mad because of that. But at the end of the day, this is my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree, disagree? What are your top games of 2023? And at the end of the day, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe, share the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. I just leveled up, I thank God.